Okay, so this is a run through of how we're going to create an email campaign, uh, building it in WordPress and then importing the design into Active Campaign. So we're in WordPress here and we've created a, a custom post type of emails. So normally you've got your blog post going here, um, your uh, pages are there as well, and we've got a couple of other types. So we've set one up specifically for emails. So we can either create it uh, by clicking add new there or up here. So the first thing is to give it a title. Now, um, this title has nothing to do with the subject line for the email, it's just our own reference. So I'm gonna give it something based on uh, today's date. And it's just a test email, so we'll just put that in. Now, the bulk of this is done by uh, this area here, which is um, it's created by a plugin called Advanced Custom Fields Pro, but basically what we do is just click on any existing blog posts and we can pick other types as well. So we can pick our event type that we've got over here and add those in. So that's literally it. We just click those in. There's no cutting and pasting of other content. And I'm going to save this draft here before we set it live. And if you right click, open that in a new tab and you can see the campaign that's been created already. So we've got some standard parts of this, the email that links back to the, uh, the, the logo, sorry, that links back to the site, our strap line. And these are the three blog posts and the event that we've added into this email. And then all the footer with our social links and the copyright notices down there. Now you'll notice that there's no unsubscribe link at the bottom of this. Uh, that's because Active Campaign puts that section in automatically itself. Right, so uh, a couple of other things you can do. You can just, uh, let's say we want to delete that and we want to change the order of these. So I'm going to make sure our event is in there because that's what our next. So you can just add, delete, shuffle these things around, save them, refresh that page and you can see that new content. now. Um, it would be useful to have a little bit of an intro to this email. So this is done with the excerpt section. Uh, so if we put something like, uh, we are now taking bookings for our China marketing localization workshop. Then you'll see where that appears as an intro. Okay, and we can fill out some more copy on that on the, on the real campaign. Uh, the last thing to do is we can set an image that kind of sets the tone for this as well. So as we're talking about uh, localization, we can put some, uh, I think there's an image in here for, uh, you know, translated text or books or something. So put a, uh, preferably a landscape format image in there. Uh, right, you need one that's going to be big enough for about 600 pixels. Let's pick another one that's a bit small. Uh, do, 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 what else have we got in here? Let's just use that same one again there. Okay, and that's our email. So when we're ready, we can publish that. Um, it won't appear on the front end of the site at all, so people won't stumble across that by accident, only really if they've uh, read the email. Or you can also uh, tweet links to this as well. Um, so it makes quite a nice landing page for um, you know, Facebook ads, Twitter ads, uh, LinkedIn comments, things like that. Okay, so that's our email built. That's all good. You know, the links here work through linking to our workshop and that blog post. And you'll see it uses the same featured image and uh, the same excerpt. So let's have a quick look at these. So these little short excerpts are um, pulled through into the email campaign. So email there. And let's go back. And that's the same text. So that's where that comes from. So you need to make sure you've got the featured image and excerpt set up here. Okay, so the next step is going to be to uh, actually uh, pull the campaign through into um, into Active Campaign. 
So now we're in Active Campaign, and this is the screen that we get to um, immediately after we've logged in. And we want to pull our campaign into our creative into a, a new campaign. So we click on the Campaigns tab, create a new campaign, and we may as well give it the same name as we've kept, uh, as we've used in WordPress. Just so we can tie the two together, should we ever need to. Okay, and I'm going to send this just to our test list. You can choose whichever list you want to use. Normally we'd send it to, uh, to all of the lists if it's a, a general interest newsletter. So we're going to build from scratch and we're going to use custom HTML. And we'll put a subject line in here, which we can be changed later, but we'll... Uh, uh, okay, Chinese work marketing work... Chinese Marketing Localization Workshop and Chinese New Year. And that's coming from uh, Domenico, the CEO. Now, to put our code in, we go to our preview page. In fact, as this is now published, you can see that. And we go insert content from URL and we paste the link to our email campaign. Now there's two options, fetch now and put it in the editor so I can edit before sending or fetch at time and sending. Pretty much always just leave it with the first one, um, that way you know what content's gone into it. Okay, so this is all the HTML code, which you don't really need to touch, and this is the campaign itself. So that's how you saw it on the web page, and you'll notice this will also fold itself up neatly if it's on narrower devices so so it works nicely on mobile and this is the section that uh, active campaign has added in um, which has got the unsubscribe link and it will say who it's been sent by and then just the active campaign footer as we're on one of the uh, low-cost plans with them so click on next and the next thing you can do is send yourself a test email Send that, and you'll notice this little flag at the top will work. Uh, one other thing to turn on is Google Analytics, so that any clicks to the website from the email campaign will be logged uh, in Google as well. The rest of it you can leave as it is. Okay, so the next thing to do is we're going to go and have a look at this in our, hopefully it's arrived in our email. Okay, so here we are, here's our preview email our images, our track links through to the different blog posts, our links through to our LinkedIn page, all working happily, and the Twitter account. Okay, and you can see it's got sent by Emerging Communications and the address in there and who it was sent to. So if the person needs to check exactly which emails on their list, they're there. So that's your campaign. Um, to actually finally send it out, uh, if you click on, uh, you can either schedule it for some time in the future or just leave it there and hit the send now button. Okay, so that's all there is to do.